Tesla stock, guys, we have to break it down yet again in this video and go over the charts and a leaked photo of a Model 3 that could be coming out, a new version of a Model 3. We have a lot to go over in this video, so if y'all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, take a sip of your coffee, of course, and don't forget to get up to 15 free stocks from Momo, link down below. We'll talk more about that later, and now let's dive into it. So when I'm making this video, it's about, what, 2.30 p.m. on the East Coast, and the markets all across the board in terms of the indexes here in the U.S. are doing so freaking well. S such a good day today for the overall stock market. We have the Russell up 1.5, the Nasdaq's pushing up 2%. We have the S&P up 1.2% as the Dow's up over 1%, and we have the VIX down 4.8% as the metals both are up, gold's up 1.5, and we have silver up over 2%. So we're not going to break down the markets too much in this video, but we will later tonight, so make sure you guys subscribe. But for this video, we're going to focus mainly on Tesla, the charts and this new leaked photo of the model three that we'll talk about here in a second but first let's take a look at what tesla stock is doing right now again it's about 2 30 p.m on the east coast when i'm making this video and we have tesla stock up 2.75 percent right at about 185 bucks a share and it's up around five bucks so far on the day and what you're noticing here at least what i'm noticing i'll break it down for you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments what i'm noticing is we're still clearly in a downtrend over Overall, on the four hour chart, you guys can see if I just draw an overarching downtrend, we're still in that, right? And of course, if we zoom in a little bit, we've been in a downtrend over the last two months as well, ever since the middle of February. So, needless to say, guys, Tesla stock over the last couple of months has not been doing well, right? You guys know that. Everybody and their grandmother pretty much know, uh, knows that at this point. And what we're noticing here in the very, very short term is a head and shoulders. Do you guys see this? We have the left shoulder right here, we have the head right right here and now we have the right shoulder pretty much playing out as we are getting rejected by both the 50 and the 180 moving averages here on the four hour chart so that's what's going on technically in my personal opinion but at the same time by the looks of it we're also fighting to make higher lows do you guys see this right here i just drew out another trend line which actually shows that tesla's in a wedge you guys see these higher lows being made we have one right here we have another one here another one here then we have another one based on today's day of trading if you guys take a look on the five day five minute today we actually well yesterday we pulled back from 191 down to about 180 heading into close that was a big drop yesterday throughout the day for tesla it went down six percent but you're noticing here we held a higher low compared to where we were the previous day. Do you guys see this? The pre Well, actually, a couple days before. Either way, a couple days before on the 10th of April, we hit about 176 bucks. Yesterday, we pulled back again, like I said, and we closed at about 180. We held that point even in the pre-market today, and we actually took off off that level. We bounced off that point. Now we have a golden cross on this five-day, five-minute. In other words, again, we held a higher low. We're fighting to pop off the bottom of this wedge. So at this point, we just have to wait for direction. If we go back to that four hour chart, we have to wait for direction. We're either going to break out of these moving averages, start breaking past 200 bucks, maybe past, you know, the top of the wedge. That's what's going to happen. Or we're going to fall through 175, which mind you again, 176 to be exact was the low from earlier this week. If we break through that, we probably will go down to 165, the low from the middle of March. Then if that were to break, we're probably going to sell off even more, um, you know, to, you know, towards the bottom. Maybe we start going down towards, you know, the lower hundreds, 130, 40, maybe even under the, uh, you know, under that point. Time will tell. And mind you guys, this upcoming Wednesday, are you ready? You better be ready because Tesla is going to be reporting earnings, guys, on the 19th, I believe on Wednesday coming up. Yes, yeah, six days away from when I'm making this video. So let's see what direction we end up picking on Tesla. My alerts are set at 165, 175. I might as well put another one at maybe 195. Let me do that now. Mark is out or above 195. And I'll put another one on top of that. Might as well put one at 200 five bucks a share mark is at or above so i'm all alerted up here on tesla guys and now let's transition over to the safari tab and talk about these leaked photos of the tesla model 3 that could be in production at some point 
later on this year. Bear with me, guys, while I set this up, then we'll talk about it. So this picture right here is floating around the internet, and this is from electric.com or .co, whatever. This, it says here, the, uh, the, the headline, it says, is this a leaked photo of the Tesla Model 3 refresh? If so, Wow. And overall, it looks kind of similar, but of course, there's going to be different specs. You know, we have the backside covered, so that might be a little bit different. So let's run through what I'm seeing here in terms of this new Model 3 that could be in production at some point during the second half. You guys can see right here, uh, you know, during the second half of 2023. So this photo, let's just run through this article, is showing a different looking Tesla Model 3 that's been making rounds on social media and some are claiming it could be of the new model 3 project highland refresh you guys can see that right here and late last year i'm not sure if you knew but we started hearing rumors that tesla was working on a model 3 refresh that would come during the second half of this year which at this point guys we're getting pretty dang close to the second half of this year and the project is reportedly codenamed highland like i just said h-i-g-h L-A-N-D, also known as, again, Highland, right? If you guys could, uh, you, you could read a little bit there, right? <laughs> and for a few years now, Tesla's been integrating its large casting technology into the Model Y with single large casting parts, replacing dozens of parts in the electric SUV. And this new technology has enabled Tesla to greatly improve manufacturing efficiency with the Model Y compared to Model 3. And CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla would bring the same technology to the Model 3 eventually, but he couldn't exactly say when. So that is, you know, rumored to be what's now in this new version of the Model 3, which the exterior might now look too different. Again, the backside's covered if we go back to that, um, you know, picture, but the interior, what's actually, um, you know, in the car, right, that's going to be a little bit different, similar technology to what we're seeing in the Model Y. And the problem, which you guys can see, is that such an update to the Model 3 would temporarily slow down production which makes sense and Tesla couldn't afford that while it was still ramping up Model Y production however Model Y production is now starting to exceed Model 3 production and it could be uh, you know good timing for Tesla to update the Model 3 using the technology and what do you guys you know what would you guys prefer just out of curiosity if you could get the Model Y or the Model 3, which one are you picking? I know what I'm picking. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm picking the Model Y, but which one are you guys picking? Let me know down below in the comments. And in December, a Model 3 prototype with heavy camouflage was spotted being tested in California. Let me actually pull this link up. What is this looking like? Oh, there you go. You guys see the front of it, you know, kind of covered there, covered up. So the front, uh, the front might be a little bit different. But of course, these prototypes have probably been around because they do have to test them. It makes sense, right? So they're kind of undercover, right? And at this point, again, going back to this article, this is what we're working with. And who knows when it will start coming, you know, into fruition, into production. Again, they're saying the second half of 2023, but God knows what Elon Musk is going to do. You guys know he always pushes back production and he's not the best when it comes to deadlines, but we shall see how it ends up playing out, guys. And now that I'm reading this a little bit more, it says here the headlights are significantly different and it's unclear if the rest of the front fascia, fascia, is updated or if it's just that the new headlight and the lack of a Tesla badge are giving it a way more aggressive look. So yeah, I just realized it's not, yeah, it's lacking the Tesla badge, which usually is right in front there. And the headlights do look a little bit different. So yeah, they do look a little bit different compared to, you know, the, the Model 3 right now. So that's one key difference here that I'm noticing that that just dawned on me now that I'm reading uh, the rest of this article. Probably should have should have mentioned that earlier in this video, guys. But either way, that's what we're working with right now. We'll see what happens over the next couple of months. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And of course, we have earnings coming up next week. So you guys better be ready, right? Right now, the market cap of Tesla's $588 billion. You guys see that right here, $588 billion. And when it comes to earnings projections, let's take a look quickly before we wrap up the video. By the way, if you haven't gotten up to 15 stocks yet for Moomoo, Moo, what are you waiting for? Use that link down below. Open up an account. You get one free share of stock. Once you deposit at least $100, bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five free shares of stock. And listen to this. If you deposit at least 1000 bucks, you get another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks. So if you guys want some free money, you want to help out the channel use that Moomoo link down below and now let's take a look at these projections so the average estimate on 26 analysts so a lot of analysts are covering tesla which does not surprise me i, I don't think it should surprise you either they're looking to see 
EPS on average of 86 cents, low estimate 69 cents, high estimate a dollar and six cents. You guys see that right there with a year ago EPS being about a dollar seven. Well, I guess exactly a dollar seven. And when it comes down to revenue, guys, on 22 analysts, 23.34 billion is the average, 20.23 is the uh, the low estimate, and the high estimate is 25.02 billion with sales growth projected to be right around 25 percent. Not too bad. It's not as great as it used to be. It's slowing down a little bit. Who knows if it pops up again? Uh, but right now, 25% is not too shabby, not too shabby. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and my second channel, Stocks Talks Money, which I am doing a $100 giveaway. Once we hit 1,000 subs, link down below. And don't forget to get your free stocks, up to 15 stocks from Umu, 12 stocks from Weeble. Feel free to check out my Patreon as well, link down below. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.